Over the years, many users have asked for simulation in Eagle. And finally today, we can say that we have integrated simulation in Eagle. Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, I want to give you a basic overview of how this SPICE functionality works. So right now, we're looking at the Eagle control panel. And if you open under examples you'll find that there's now an ng spice folder and this ng spice folder contains various examples to highlight how simulation works so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this example this is a two transistor oscillator and what I want to highlight is that all of the spice functionality is available in this toolbar that's new in the latest version so everything that involves SPICE can be accessed through this toolbar. Additionally, if you right-click, you'll be able to see some of those SPICE parameters available in the right-click menu as well. So in this video, we want to go ahead and highlight how this feature works using the basic commands. So the first one I want to show you guys is Voltage Probe. The schematic already contains three of them, but very easily, if you click on Voltage Probe, you can add additional probes for signals of interest. You can just add as many as you want. You can also add phase probes. And you'll notice that they're distinguished by having the lowercase letter P in front of the V. So I've added a few already. Now, the other command we want to explore in this overview is the simulate command. Now, this command handles all of the simulation setup as well as showing you the results. So in the configuration tab, you determine what type of simulation you want. And we'll be going over the details of this section in another video. The netlist tab shows you a spice netlist for your current design. Simulator output and plot tabs are empty until you actually run a simulation. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the simulate button. This uh, simulation has already been set up to be a transient simulation. So I'm going to click simulate. And if the type of simulation that you specified can have a plot, it, once it's done calculating the results, it will immediately jump to the simulate plot. So in this plot, our mouse allows us to read off any values on the right side for any of the signals. You can click and drag to zoom in to a specific area of, of the plot. You can also click refresh to go back to your original plot in case you zoomed in too far. Um, you can both click and drag horizontally as well as vertically to be able to zoom in on specific values. Additionally, right now we have a lot of probes on our design, so we can go to select signals and determine which signals we're interested in. So for example, we may only be interested in our output signal right now. So I'll go ahead and just leave the input voltage and the output signal on. So I'll say apply changes and we see very clearly that this is an oscillator, a square wave oscillator. You can also modify the axes using the DB on, log X, and log Y buttons. Simulator output contains all of the points that created those plots. So if need be you could select all of this and copy it into like an Excel spreadsheet to do further analysis or to further document your design. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just mention the other buttons that we'll be analyzing in future videos. We have the source setup, we have the add model, and we have the OP results toggle. The next video and others will be covering how these commands work. So thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day.